Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new video. It has been a minute since I've posted like an actual video like this like at my computer and everything so I'm kind of excited to uh, to do this uh, but I seen a video this morning posted by Harry Maine and it was called why they couldn't break this is actually this video right here um, and uh, watching it it just kind of bothered me a little bit because I have absolutely no problems with Harry Maine uh, but this does kind of bug me like I do watch some of his videos and it reminds me of something he said in a previous video which kind of makes him look like I, I don't know like a hypocrite or something like that. anyways if you guys don't know what any of this is about I'll kind of give you some backstory um, there is a youtuber called Benser Forsman a great youtuber BMX vlogger or however they call it the action adventure films blah 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 whatever he posted a video this video what a couple months ago yeah June 29th and it was called I finally got sponsored Spencer's a great rider people are always commenting why aren't you sponsored uh, a lot of people I don't know if a lot of people know this but I used to watch Spencer back in the day I believe he wrote for Dude Bird it was a BMX company I think Zach Gerber wrote for them Spencer Forsman I remember watching the team videos they were sick anyways he made this video sponsored basically a parody saying that he got sponsored by Mafia Bikes which if you don't know is Harry Main is it the company Harry Main like kind of reps uh, all the time so I'll show you the part of this video that kind of got things heated up and stuff uh, and it's kind of the the big part of this whole video that I'm making uh, so basically he's talking about how he finally got sponsored and how he's gonna open up his new frame and here he is on the mega ramp uh, it's obviously a joke nothing really mean and stuff and I don't think this is a mean video anyways he's just kind of poking fun um, at one of the big guys in the scene and, and he's even said in a video that he respects him uh, for what he does for the sport and stuff and if he can help uh, kids get on cheaper bikes and stuff like that this is the part of the video that kind of went crazy, uh, but you know, I'll let you guys watch it. Yeah, he's posing with it. So excited to have the frame. Just wanting to show it to the whole world. Look at it. Oh, there it is. Oh, Oh, the wind just took it right out of his hands. Such a tragedy. But anyways, it just it just continues with them just absolutely destroying this Harry mainframe. It's pretty funny. I'll link it in the description if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, but it's 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 pretty hilarious. Uh, we'll just watch a couple more parts of it. It's gonna be. It's not dent resistant like my Sunday. <laughs> or my Trey Jones call frame, but I think we can still ride, right? Yeah, so basically the rest of the video is just them doing crazy <laughs> dumb stuff to it. Um, just absolutely destroying it. Just being pretty goofy. I mean, it's not mean spirited towards Harry Main or Mafia. Obviously, they're destroying one of their frames, which is kind of ridiculous, but it's not mean spirited like. F you Harry Main and as you can see he's just kind of mocking him <laughs> kind of his, his sayings that he does on YouTube anyways not long after that Harry Main posted this video called is it broken and basically he rode a rocker BMX at a skate park and when he gets to the skate park uh, I think it's right here uh, I'll just like let, let you listen to what he says if any of you missed the outro on the video where I did the RS6 versus the GTR I mentioned in a clip Mafia bikes won't respond to any hate and I personally would never respond to any hate campaigns that are projected against me or any of the brands that I'm involved with. The only thing that I am willing to do in response to them type of videos is respond in a positive manner. Everybody who supported Mafia Bikes, everybody that supported me has been rewarded and I have lowered the price of the charge purple frames and the aqua teal frames down to 129. You guys have all been rewarded by buying more of my shit. <laughs> like, I don't understand. How is that any sort of reward? That's not, these people still have to buy stuff. Sure, it's nice, stuff goes on sale. I don't really get this. I don't really understand 
But I, I respected what he said, like, yeah, I'm not gonna respond, and I get that that's cool, like, he doesn't feel like he needs to respond to anyone, kind of making fun of what he's doing and stuff in his company, because he believes what he's doing is great, and he, he really uh, believes in the company, and, and what they're doing is great with making bikes that are more affordable, blah, 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 yeah. And that's not really what this is about, this is more or less about him saying, I'm not gonna respond, I'm the bigger man, Mafias that we're bigger. We're, we're bigger than these little youtuber guys. I mean, we're not gonna respond and then what do you know? Today he posts a video called why they couldn't break this and this video is basically just him yeah. I'll just show you like a little bit. I don't know. Are you ready mr. Robinson? Yes <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys welcome to today's video um, Recently in some in some recent events, you may or may not have... Recent events, I mean, uh, it was the uh, end of June. It is now halfway through August. It's not that recent anymore. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe he's still getting uh, messages and comments about the sponsor Spencer video. I don't know. Um, but obviously, he made that other video uh, acknowledging that that kind of stuff or that video was uh, made. So I don't know why he's kind of saying it's in recent events when it's not. But we'll see continue. You a hit main frame being put under pressure in many ways now this frame if you're wondering why we're about to do this to this hit main frame it's been cycle tested so basically it's had forks it's been rammed 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 now we are about to cut this thing up and explore what makes the hit main frames so damn strong that you've previously seen from some of our glorious youtube stars who've put the hit main frame under pressure for us such a strong frame. Now, the rest of this video, he kind of just goes on with, with cutting it open. I didn't even really watch it to the end because it just seems silly because it's just like he feels... I, 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 I get the feeling that he feels like he needs to defend himself for some reason. Like, no, like, I was like, I kind of respected him for not responding before and him trying to be the bigger man. Like, it makes sense. But for him to come back and be like, blah, 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 blah. Like, this is exactly what Spencer and all those guys wanted. They wanted a response. And that's why this video is... A hairy man you've lost because this is his response he said i'm not gonna respond to you guys i'll play the clip right here me and harry me and mafia bikes are not going to respond if any of you missed the outro i mentioned in a clip mafia bikes won't respond to any hate and i personally would never respond to any hate campaigns and then two months later or whatever he comes back and he responds <laughs> So you've lost there, you mean. I'm sorry, you've lost. You've made this video in great effort to try to show us that this frame is good, and I'm sure that maybe it is all right, but that's not the point. The point is you've lost. These guys wanted a response. I can only imagine. I don't know why they wouldn't. They definitely want your acknowledgement that you've seen that video, and now you've made a video kind of trying to defend yourself and this bike company you ride for. You've lost, I'm sorry man, like you definitely should have not made this video. You've made this video to try to defend yourself and I feel like it kind of just makes you look like a bit of a bitch. I'm sorry, I have nothing against you, but that's just my opinion on it. I'd love to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you think that he should have made this video? Do you think that he should have just not made this video and kind of not give them what they were looking for, which was some sort of video or response? I'd be interested to see what you guys think. You guys obviously now know what I think. Uh, so yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you guys uh, for watching this video. I don't hate Harry Maine. I'm not trying to send any hate towards him. This is just my opinion on this whole BMX feud situation thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed uh if you guys want to see more videos on this subject or anything else uh let me know where it's bmx parts news uh there's a new frame by with the people where they're kind of copying almost like a mountain bike style where the head tube's actually wider at the bottom so you're gonna have tapered forked uh, uh i don't know thank you guys so much for watching peace out